gone. It's gone. What we saw was likely the largest natural disaster in Hawaii's state history. People are found in houses in a huddle holding each other because the fire surrounded their homes before they could even get out. There was nowhere to go. And these are beautiful homes that are very old and they're made of wood. Those went up like a matchstick. Right now, rescuers are scrambling to find missing residents who may be trapped by the raging infernos torching the Hawaiian island of Maui. Communities have been incinerated and countless people are now finding themselves homeless. It is Friday afternoon and the big story on Action News at noon as at least 55 people now confirmed dead as three wildfires continue to tear through Maui. Yeah, the mayor of Maui County says much of the island now resembles more of a war zone. As you can see from these aerial views, authorities say a perfect storm of weather conditions fueled these devastating fires. ABC's Melissa Adan is on the ground there in Maui with this update. A race to contain the raging wildfires racing across Hawaii as the death toll rises. The blaze now the second deadliest in U.S. history over the last century. Officials now fearing the death count to grow over the coming days. As some people jumped into the ocean to save themselves, this man doing just that after battling flames for three hours. And I ran to the ocean and just I gave in everything. Gone. Emergency doctor Reza Dinesh rushing into the historic town of Lahaina with his mobile clinic to treat burn patients. It literally felt like an atomic bomb went off and survivors were coming out. Aerial footage showing what's left of Lahaina, the one-time capital of the Hawaiian kingdom that has deep cultural roots, much of it now gone. People lost everything, homes, jobs, their cars, some their pets. There's still people missing. I've fought wildfires in California. And I've never seen something ravaged so fast. Many homes and businesses reduced to rubble. Burned out holes of boats washed up onto the shore. We have a scar on the face of Maui that will be here for a very long time. President Biden issuing a disaster declaration for Hawaii. Anyone who's lost a loved one whose home has been damaged or destroyed is going to get help immediately. While weather conditions have improved across western Maui, gusty winds persist as firefighters continue to work to contain all three fires still burning on this island. Reporting from Maui, I'm Melissa Don, Channel 6 Action News.